Okay, these are the burlap hearts that I do every year if I have a booth. They have been very successful. Sometimes I just do them plain with polka dots and then sometimes I add embellishments like this tattered piece of muslin cloth and then I just stamped it with rubber stamps. And this year I've added the little white applique flowers and the little pieces of rhinestone that just came off a broken necklace. They're easy peasy. All I did was just cut them out, hot glued them. I left an opening over on the side, stuffed them and glued them. And then for the wire hanger, I just had some rusty wire out in the garage and I just grabbed that every year. But you could make these out of different kinds of cloth. You could sew them if you wanted to. You could um, use different colors of burlap. You could embellish any way that you wanted to. And they're perfect for wedding decor as well as Valentine's Day. And these are probably about, I don't know, eight or nine inches tall. And I just stuffed them with plastic bags. They're so easy. love pulling out old magazines for inspiration for my vignettes and seasonal decor. This is an old magazine called Romantic Homes Magazine. It's no longer in publication. It was like one of the many others didn't, that didn't make it. But how beautiful are some of these vignettes if you have old scissors and things like this to just put in a bowl. Um, these are perfect for those that have a lot of glassware or dishes. If you have things like the faux cookies or cakes, and I think you can get those on Etsy, but old vintage hankies to tuck in a milk glass bowl or a vase. Just so much, so much inspiration. I've actually made the faux cookies before. They're real cookies. You just go to um, whatever bakery that you want to get your cookies from and then just dry them out for a couple of weeks and then I always sealed mine with shellac. I've also done that with um, French bread and donuts and they're really pretty. And then here's another pretty vignette. This one looks like the burlap heart that I did um, yesterday. I do those every year. They have been really popular for, for my booth. But how pretty is this vignette? It looks like a milk glass bowl of some sort with an old book at the bottom. 
and a vintage Valentine's card. I will try to do the tutorial for the burlap hearts. A lot of people were asking how I did those and it was just easy peasy with hot glue and I stuffed them with old bags. But how pretty. Here is another beautiful Valentine's Day issue from Romantic Homes Magazine. This is just so simple. It's an open back picture frame with a candle and it looks like a milk glass vase of some sort with a succulent coming out of the top. But this issue had the um, store in California. I cannot think of her name. It's Lori Chandler. I think she does an event each year called uh, Flea by the Sea. But everything in this store is so beautiful. And again, I know this is not for everyone, but for those of us that, <laughs> that appreciate the shabby chic look, it is just heaven. Like everything she touches, all of her vignettes, all of her displays are just beautiful. Maybe one day I will get to visit in person. Have you guys been to this store? Let me know in the comments. 